Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 has officially been announced and a release date is set and that release is going to be in January of 2025 which is one really exciting and two pretty sudden as it didn't take them long to develop this one compared to chapter 3 and I think the reason is because chapter 3 I recall had a lot more revisions done to it but now with chapter 4 they have, I think, a more straightforward idea of what they're going to be doing with this chapter. Now, on their Steam page for the chapter, they do list the following. Brace yourself for the darkest chapter yet in the epic Poppy Playtime saga. Which is exciting, yet concerning to hear, considering this chapter is going to be based around the laboratory, the area where Playtime Co. Factory held these experiments in creating toys, and if you know your lore, you will know that they use humans to make said toys, specifically children, and even adults as well. So so it being labeled as the darkest chapter yet in the series, I'm sure that we're going to be exposed to the true nature of what they've been doing down here in these labs and the experiments that were that were held here. You are pushed deeper into the undiscovered depths of the Playtime Co. factory, far below anything the world knew. Here, you'll encounter terrifying new threats and discover shocking revelations. Can you outwit the unnatural new creations lurking in the shadows? Can you survive here long enough to eventually unravel the mysteries behind the experiments? Every step will test your courage. Every puzzle will challenge your mind. And every corner may be your last. Now with this description, I don't believe we're going to have a main antagonist for this chapter. I more so feel like this chapter is going to be a build up to the prototype and focused more on the lore behind the experiments that were held here. However, I do believe that we are going to encounter many different side antagonists in this chapter, similar to how chapter 3 had it with certain areas. Specifically, this lamb character we can see here on the cover of chapter 4, which has been confirmed to be a nightmare critter, as Mob Entertainment did purchase the trademark for nightmare critters, though so far this lamb character is the only instance of these nightmare critters. I'm not sure if there's going to be any more types of these characters, but it does seem like they have some sort of big role in this chapter, alongside some other antagonists we may likely encounter in this chapter as well. I do believe the lab is where all of the failed experiments and scrapped prototypes have been left and hidden from the outside world, so I'm interested to see what abominations and outright monstrous toys we're likely going to find in this environment and get exposed to how depraved and evil these experiments really are. Now, for the rest of the description, it does mention other things like new characters and allies, expanded lore, puzzles, and so much more. So we really don't have too much information to further go off from based on this description. Again, this is all just my assumptions and theory as to how this chapter will play out, so don't take it as fact as I could end up being completely wrong about the whole thing down the road. Always make sure to craft your own theories and opinions about these kinds of things and keep an open mind. Now, even though I am pretty excited for this next chapter, of Poppy Playtime, I do have my criticisms. One of which is being how it does look like they're going to be pushing more Smiling Critter-esque characters towards us. Since from the last chapter, Smiling Critters was a very popular thing amongst the fandom and the community. And it's still a very popular thing to this day, even after Chapter 3's release. But from how it looks now, it appears that they're going to be using that again for Chapter 4. Seeing that there's now these new Nightmare Critters, which appear to be the complete opposites of Smiling Critters. Uh, well, nice to meet you. So, uh, what exactly do you guys do? So what do you guys even do? Shut up, man. <laughs> My guess is that since they're going to be appearing in the laboratory, they might be a scrapped prototype or experiment that ended up not doing too well. Again, who knows what Mopper Entertainment will do with them, but I hope they aren't going to try repeating what they did in Chapter 3 with the Smiling Critters. Hey, this is Post Editing Barry. I just found out that the sheep is indeed not the main antagonist. There's also the question about the length of the chapter itself, because obviously this chapter is going to be released a year after Chapter 3 dropped, so seeing how fast they've developed it with no real build-up until now, feels as if this chapter isn't going to be as big compared to Chapter 3. But I guess we'll see once it releases and how they manage to hype it up in the coming months. I am also aware that there is some controversy and allegations going around regarding Poppy Playtime that I'm not really going to go over too much in this video, but there was an artist on Twitter known as Meowverin who made a thread that basically stated that Catnap was inspired off of their OC. 
And that mob entertainment kind of took their OC and turned it into catnap, or at least used it as inspiration for catnap. There's a lot of information to kind of go over in regards to that, so I am going to provide the link to that thread in the description below just so you can go look at it yourself and get your own opinion about it. But just to provide an example of what I'm referring to, here's an image of Catnap, and then here's an image of Meowvrin's OC, which if you can tell, uh, yeah, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big coincidence that the two look pretty much exactly the same. But yeah, that's all I'm really going to talk about in this moment. So if you want to go look at that yourself, you're more than welcome to. Again, the link is in the description down below. And we're going to get back into the video. Also, I'm not accusing Mob Entertainment of stealing this person's OC. Please do not come after me, Mob Entertainment. I do not believe that. I, I'm just saying that it's just a pretty big coincidence is all. But besides that, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it was probably very sudden on my part to release a video like this, but I really just wanted to get something out there about this Poppy Playtime news, especially around chapter 4, and also try out this theory stuff, if this can even be considered a theory. So um, yeah, but, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And if you haven't already, please consider liking the video and subscribing if you aren't subscribed, even commenting as well about your thoughts about the matter. That kind of stuff really helps out smaller channels like mine, and I would really appreciate that greatly. So hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.